So rather than explicitly going through your success criteria, what I thought I'd do is take you through the 2016 uh, exam two. There's a number of questions that I suggested you guys do as part of your revision. Um, so we're going to have a little question 1, 2, 6, 7, 9, 11, 12, 15, 17, 18 and 20 for multiple choice and then some others from these short answer questions. I've done some of these, not all of them. Uh, I'll be pretty much doing them on the fly as we go. So pretend that, so I'm kind of pretending that I'm a year 11 student. I don't know. Um, okay, so let's have a look at this thing. So question one, and I'm going to try and use the CAS as much as possible. <clears throat> so question one, uh, I'll get permission. In a hockey competition shows teams' chance of defeating teams from Japan and Belgium are 0.4 and 0.7. Probably Australia loses both matches. Now, they're saying they're probably defeating. That means Australia beating Japan and Belgium are 0.4 and 0.7. Probably Australia loses both matches. So that means they've lost to, um, they've lost to Belgium. So that means 0.6. And they've lost to, sorry, they've lost to Japan, 0.6. They've lost to Belgium, Belgium, which is 0.3. So on CAS, we'll start up a new calculator. And we say 0.3 times 0.6, because they're left over 0.18. So that's our answer for that one, 0.18. <coughs> okay. All right, now question to the amplitude period and uh, range respectively of a function are given by. Uh, now amplitude, we know that we find the amplitude with whatever we've got in the front here. So it's three, so only one of these here has three at the front and it's this, these two here. Now it also tells us the range. So the period and range, so uh, sorry, the period and then the range. Uh, now looking at this, the range, we've got different ranges here. We've got a period of pi for both of these and then we've got a range of negative four to two or r, which is all real numbers. For a sine graph, we know a sine graph goes up and down like that. It is not going to be all real numbers. So it's going to be this one. This one ends up being D. Um, my advice to you people, if you can't work it out, just button mash it on CAS. So I'll be saying we're going to graph that. We'll go to home, graph that, and we'll say 3 sine uh, 2, oops, 3 times sine, open brackets, 2 open brackets, um, x plus pi. Um, minus one, uh, close off brackets minus one. So we have a look at that and then we choose a maximum, analyze graph, uh, maximum between here and here. We've got a maximum near two, uh, analyze graph. We've got a minimum, uh, minimum between these two points. There's our range, negative four and two, and, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, that's for our period, if it's pi, let's have a look, we're starting here at this point, uh, so we just check zeros, so menu, analyze graph, zero, we're going to go between here and here, and we're going to trace it, so it goes to there, uh, menu, analyze graph, uh, zero, from here and here, 3.31 minus 3.17, guess what, 3.14, that's about pi, so that fits in with, uh, with that there. So from there, we're going to go to question six. Let's have a little question six. I think this is a probability question, or it's a question I don't like. Aha, okay. So <clears throat> straight away looking at one of these, I can see that it is some sort of binomial question, given these are the options here. So a family has four children. Assuming the chance of a child that is female is 0 0.48, the probability of a family has either two or three daughters is given by. Okay, so we've got four children. That's how many we've got to choose from. We've got a 0.48% chance, sorry, a 0.48 chance, 0.48, a probability of 0.48 that it's female, so two daughters or three daughters, so it's because of the all, we've got a plus operation between two sets of um, binomials. So that's our probability of success, that's the number we're starting with, that's the number we're interested in. Probability of success, number we're starting in, number we're interested in. <coughs> So we ask you this question, V kind of likes to ask these types of questions as well. So they don't actually want a numerical answer, we just want to see exactly what it is. So for this, you need to know your binomial formula, which is, um, yeah, it's the way you should have formula sheets, it's the way you can have bound reference. So your binomial formula says PR of, and I'm going to write it down, X, capital X equals X equals NCR of um, NR. And then we say of P, the probability of um, R, 
Well, we use NCX, NCX is the same thing, NCR. Uh, probability, uh, P, and then we do 1 minus P to the probability of uh, N minus R. Whoops. To the probability to the power of N minus R. N minus R. Ah, that's equal. Okay, it's Tommy, it's true. I didn't want that to happen in here. So in this case, we've got 4. So we'll say 4C2. So we'll have 4C2. Um, and we'll say 0 0.48 to the power of 2. Uh, 0 0.52 to the power of 2. So, so it's one of these. So 0 0.48 to the power of 2. 0 0.52 to the power of 2. So that's what we've got happening there. So it's going to be this one here. Uh, and then we've got 4C3. So this is where we get 3 girls out of 4. And that's what we end up having there. Okay, so that one's in the B key. All right, question number seven. That's the next one we're doing. Graph of log. Um, of course, if we were to work it out, we just pretty much type it in exactly as is there. case. All right, question seven. Graph of log of this thing has an asymptote at now. It's x because if, for a log, it was vertical. We, if we don't know, like you'd be taking out that three. I'd be rearranging this. So it was written in the form of. Um, 2 log to the base 3 of uh, negative 3x minus 4, and then I take out a common factor of 3. So let's see if Kaz will do that for us. 2 log 2 times, always log control, log to the base 3 of um, 4 minus 3x. Whoops. Enter. Does it do it? There we go. So now it's done it for us in this form. So what we can do then we can take out a common factor of three. So if I was to do that, we this we'd rewrite this as um, we're going to take out a common factor of three. So we're going to have a three here, and then we're going to have to change this to four over three. And once again, we end up with the same thing. So now this tells me we are going to have an asymptote somewhere with to do with this, uh, a four on three. So having a look at this, we've got a 4 on 3, we've got a 4 on 3, both the same, I've only got a negative 4 on 3. Okay, so let's graph it. We're not sure, just graph it. Um, here we go, tab up, we're going to change this to 2, 2 times log to base 3 of, what did we say it was? 4 minus 3x. There we go, there's our asymptote, so we choose a point. Menu, menu, trace, menu, trace, trace all, trace step, hmm, analyze graph. Uh, I will choose a minimum. Now from here to there, it looks like it's going towards, so 1.13, 1.19, 1. let's see, 2.6, this is going to 1.3333, so it ends up being 4 over 3, so either C or D there. Okay, let's go to question nine. <coughs> um, right, this question, I hate this question. I tried the one, it kept freaking me out. I could not get the right answer. I don't know. Um, but we'll have a look at this. So with this, if I can't ever do anything, I'd, I'd be graphing it. I'd say, okay, 10 of AX, uh, let's graph this for all these values for A. I'm pretty confident that it's not going to be pi on 3, 3, 3 on pi, or pi on 6, because we've got asymptotes there, but let's try some stuff. So I am going to the graph, press escape, tab up, and I'm going to say we are going to graph 10 of, um, let's see, 3x, and we're, we don't want any of that stuff, we're going to draw a new graph. Uh, home. 10 of 3x, and hmm, we've got that happening there. So let's say menu, analyze graph. Let's see if this works. Uh, we want a maximum between here and, okay, look, it's going to 0.44, point, yeah, no, nah, it's not working. Um, I'd be taking a guess and say 3 or 6. I seriously doubt whether it is. It's going to be any of these two. Well, actually, we can try to solve every point. Uh, if that's where our asymptote is, and we can say, okay, let's go back here. So say 10 of uh, 3 times, uh, and we'll put in pi on 6, which we get undefined. Pi on 6. Undefined. Now we'll try it again with 10 of. 3 times, 
chart pi six pi three pi oh, three zero. So it's not that one. All right, let's try six. So we're going to do the same thing. Six, six, three. We're doing six zero. It's not going to be that either. Okay, so let's try this three on pi. So ten of three on pi. Oops. Put in two sets of brackets because we're doing three on pi. Three on pi times x. No, no times not x. We're doing pi on six. Pi on six. Ten and a half, which is not correct. Um, <clears throat> so it's not that one. Let's try pi on three. Ten of brackets pi on three. That's not going to work. Um, I would guess that it might be a typo in this thing. Uh, let's try pi on six. Pi on six times pi on six. It's not going to do it here. It's not undefined. I'd say we've got a typo here. Um, that's pretty frustrating. That's what I think it is because nothing else seems to make sense. I should be getting an undefined when I substitute these values in there. I've done all of them. I am not getting an undefined. Anyhow, let's move on. Uh, that was question 9, so look at question 11. Okay, five minutes ago. Number of solutions for this interval. Okay, so get one of these things. We're asked the number of solutions over this interval. So my advice to you guys is to graph this over this interval and just check how many intercepts there are. So we're going to say, you're going to go to graph, home, graph. We're going to say 3, sign, open a set of brackets. Uh, 4x minus pi, 4x minus pi, close the brackets. Uh, plus 2, um, and we're going to say given, so we're going to say given um, 0 is less than x, okay. less than or equal to x because it is a um, because it is a square bracket, which is then also less than or equal to 2 pi. So there we have it, so we've got 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight. So over this, we've got eight solutions. Okay. Uh, so we've got time for question twelve. So the range of the inverse function of this. So what we do, we know that the uh, range of an inverse is the domain of the original function. So I would graph this thing. So we'll say so tab up and delete all this stuff. Log. Um, no, not log, we we'll type it in. We've we'll got to press the button. So, control, uh, damn, like that. Let's do a new graph page. I'm starting to get a little bit confused. So, control, log, base 2 of, so we've got x minus 3, x minus 3. And we can see that is asymptoting there at 1, 2, 3. So, it's 3 to infinity. So, then our range is going to be 3 to infinity. So it never touches 3, it's always approaching 3, that's our asymptote, it's always approaching infinity, so that's what we end up with there. So there we have uh, the first uh, several questions for the 2016 exam answer that I suggested you do.